My DIY solar generator, finally I can talk about it. Finally I can show you what it is about. Everything just because of, look at that. Guys, it's finally time to talk about my solar charge controller, which I did in DIY. But finally I can show you what it is about and look at that. I'll explain it to you. So let's look into that. Here you can see Will Prowse. This is a YouTuber who is working a lot on solar and do DIY off-grid and whatnot. So that was a very, very interesting learning journey for me. So I went through, I don't even know, I think too many, way too many videos. But this particular one, this DIY 200 watt 12 volt solar power system de minimalist beginner tutorial. Perfect. As you can see, there's a wooden board and there are a couple of components. There's a solar panel and that's that's what caught my eye. It was just insane for me to see this and I was so surprised. I was really, really surprised when, when he was explaining those things and uh, look at that. And we have a solar panel and a battery for demonstration purposes, but this is not the right size battery and this is not the right size solar panel. After more and more videos, I, I was so trapped in the whole, I was just trapped, excited to do this myself. So what, what did I do? I took a sheet of paper and I draw on it which components might be interesting, which components might work, and what components do I want to have in my solar generator. Long story short, I went to Home Depot, got a bunch of stuff, ordered a lot of stuff online, you can find all the links um, by the way in my description. What happened? I tried to copy him, I tried to copy a couple other things, um, just was, you know, going back and forth and trying different things. Um, fingers crossed, so far it works, so far it's up and running and I feel like that's something, let's look at it. My solar generator in a nice box to pull around and you will be wondering what's in it or not. And, uh, that's the main unit, there's another one additional over here and then I'm charging something on the other side. In here are all main components, everything you need to see. On top of this wooden board you can see all the electrical components, mine does not look as clean pretty good let me try to explain everything what components are in here and, uh, why this extra package here is on the side the battery is underneath the board and the negative main here on this side which has a power switch so i can turn off the complete unit if i want to it's going into this shunt so i can uh, it's a smart shunt from victron so i know how much power is in it and what's the percentage of the battery this one's going into the fuse box from the fuse box which is connected here to the negative here we have also the positive because i have an agm battery i decided for a smart battery protect which means this will shut off power that's pulling more powerful battery as soon as it hits less than 50 percent we have also the inverter here 300 watts it's a pure sine wave inverter also we have uh, a solar charge controller over here it's also from Victron, that was very important for me. As, as well, we have a Raspberry Pi over here, which is logging everything from the Victron components. That is so nice. That is about what you can see on top. So I'll take off the board. Here you can see the battery underneath. That means this one's a positive cable, which goes here to the positive connection on the other side here. And on the other side, we have a negative. Here's a little Victron Smart Battery Sense for temperature and whatnot. We have a couple of wires going to the different connectors here. We have a normal household plug over here. And then we have a 12 volt car connector and we have a USB-C and USB charger over there. With that being said, here you can see it's it's not really mounted inside so far battery, but um, I wanted to make it as flexible as possible at the moment. I can switch um, to different housing as soon as I want to. This battery is a Renergy AGM 100 amp hours, 12 volt battery. I decided with this little connector, I decided that I want to have an extension pack <laughs> just in case. And that's why this one is going out. That's why I have this extra box over there. I'll connect it later. Let me show you more on, around the box. I'm really sorry about my bad craftsmanship, but um, here is a outdoor plug. So this one connects to the inverter on top. We do have on this side 12 volt power connector and the USB and USB-C connector. And on this side we have the MC4 connectors, which are connecting to solar panels. And those MC4 connectors go straight to the solar charge controller over here. From I'm so sorry that it's a mess, but it is what it is. So this is pretty cool. Here's just the same battery in it. One of those connectors also here on the other side. I can just connect those together, turning it off first. So I can just connect them together. 
and now I have double the power. But they are connected in parallel. That means that I can use 200 amp hours. That works pretty well for me, so I can just extend the battery if I want to. So I'm really curious what do you think about my solar generator. I know it has some flaws and it's definitely not the best one, but um, honestly for my first build I'm pretty impressed with myself and I'll use this one as well on my next camping trip together with my camping fridge. So I'm really excited and stoked to see how that works out and I'll keep you posted on it as well. Can't wait to use it. The problem in LA is always you don't have really have a lot of space so charging during the day is very important but <laughs> If you don't have space where you put the solar panels, it doesn't work, so I hope that I can uh, yeah, test it very intense uh, while camping. I hope there's a lot of sun. If you have any comments or you saw something, please let me know. If you think um, you can also do something like that, let me know. Maybe you have better sources, different sources. Um, I'm pretty impressed with uh, the YouTuber Will and he was doing a great job. I can highly recommend his videos. I learned everything from scratch, so I had to start from zero. Let me know if you maybe also build something, just share it with me. That would be so cool to see other people building stuff like that as well. If you need more information about my solar generator, I'm happy to share it. Uh, maybe you have some questions, so I'll make another video of that. Thanks for watching and I hope that you like this and uh, if you want to see more about it, like the video. Tschüss!